Hello, my name is Chan. Uh, today we're going to continue with the IPv6 routing. Uh, on uh, so we're going to cover static route, uh, default route, RIP, next generation, and OSPF. All right. Uh, basically, the way you learn uh, IPv6 routing and IPv4 routing is more or less the same. Okay, let's go to static routing. So uh, to make a diff slightly different illustration, so I'm going to use a 64-bit prefix for the PC1. All right. So all the routing example will use the static IPv6 addressing uh, for your reference. All right. Okay, need to modify some of this. All right, there's typo. Okay, so these are the IPv6 addresses. All right, all right. So on the static router, first when you configure all your IPv6 addressing, if your IP addressing is correct, uh, you should be able to ping point to point. All right, should be able to ping point to point. The same way like IPv4, uh, you should be able to ping point to point if your IPv6 address is correct. Then uh, on this router, you are unable to access this network. So on on router one, uh, so you should put in the IP route, IPv6 route, this network two zero zero three uh, slash sixty four. The next hop will be here. Then on the router two, router two, okay, enable show run uh, you're going to do IP route this network all right this is the network uh, and the next hop is here all right uh, if you go back to router one you see the IPv6 addressing is look like this okay uh, so you should be able to ping point to point uh, from end to end okay all right so this is static so the next thing you're going to look for is the default routing uh, default route so we're going to put a default route here default is here on here all right so it's more or less same with the setting uh, everything is the same as static with exception uh, the syntax will look like this IP route uh, dot dot 64 the next hop okay uh, basically you can always put like this IPv6 route root zero 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 sixty four something like this okay all right uh, okay so at the same thing you can try and can ping uh, i will be successful okay so this is uh default route okay let's open the next one this is the uh rig Oh. Okay. Let's open uh, this one. Open. So let's put the rip. Okay, rip. Let's do the fast forward. Okay. For IPv6, uh, first when you go into the router, okay, enable. You should enable the the rip routing rip, and you can put any name. This name is local. Uh, local to the router itself all right you can put any name on any router the best is the same uh, but this just to illustrate the name is local to each router then on each interface you have to enable the routing on the each interface whichever interface you want you have to enable the routing you have to put IPv6 rip TSN enable so this will enable uh, IPv6 routing on that interface so something different is that uh, for IPv6 the dynamic routing is uh, is enabled on per interface basis all right uh, this is something you need to remember which is which is much much more better much better than uh, IPv4 all right all right uh, then the next thing is the next thing is uh, uh, OSPF is just the same like IPv6 
but uh, in OSPF, let's open. Oh, of course, uh, you want to show the IP route first, okay? So uh, there you go. Show IPv6 route. Uh, you can see uh, there's a rip route uh, from this network, okay? Then definitely you can ping. Okay. Uh, let's last puzzle. This let's look at uh, the OSPF. Uh, we do a fast forward. Uh, the configuration is more or less the same, except that uh, in this case, uh, uh, you might need to put in the router ID. All right, the router ID should be unique for each router. And then you enable the IP OSPF, IPv6 OSPF1, the process ID, in which area you want on per interface basis. Uh, then you should be able to ping already. I can show the route. Uh, you should be able to see the OSPF route. Okay. And then you can ping. All right, successful. Okay, so that will be all. Thank you very much. Any questions, send us an email. You know where to contact us. Okay, bye.